Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Rafe, and this is Telltale Games, the Game of Thrones game. So far, interesting stuff. But before we hop in, two quick reminders for you. First, if you're not already, go down, hit the subscribe button, use the notification bell, that way you know when I'm uploading new videos. And secondly, you are an awesome person, so keep being awesome to others, all right? All right, let's find out what's happening this time in A Game of Thrones. Oh, we're back in Red Keep. Da, 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 da. Strange Key. Key back. We should not be snooping. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Nera, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... Mm, I sort of doubt it, but all right, sure, why not? Yeah, I'm guessing that's not good news. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you all right, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed, and he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear, for now, but it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. My lady. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been up there? How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know. I, I can help you if you'd like. And your family. If you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. It's too dangerous for me right now. And for you as well. You needn't worry about me. I can take care of myself. No. Which is why you must trust me, Malay. You're either reporting you to the allies. spider or you're reporting to Hopefully Lord Baelish. Hopefully I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I, I really must go. Please don't despair. 
I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. one of the king's guard who do you report to i wonder cersei Tyrion. where the bloody hell is duncan he should be here ah, fuck him if he's angry we'll do without him and without king's landing i know you'd hoped mira could help us but i'm confident we've enough strength of our own your men are ready to act if needed Sir Royland, I trust you'll keep a level head. Of course, my lord. But the bastard of Bolton can't be trusted to do the same. Well, referring to him as the bastard of Bolton is guaranteed way to piss him off. Isn't so. this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Hmm. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton, son of Roose Bolton? Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the Thank Warden you, of Lord. the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young. <laughs> this. Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. Is that? So, <laughs> not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. It seems the foresters have a talent for something after all. Lord Ramsay, we have another gift we'd like to offer to you. There are several ironwood groves along the borders of our land, all producing tall, strong trees. We'd like to give them to you in tribute. To me? That's very kind of you. Thank you. Look at that. More forester. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. Force him to focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. And I care even less about a bunch of trees on some far-off hill. The crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead, one Bolton. Yet your man 
lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit mm. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. It can't be that difficult. The White Hills had Ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Hence the name, of course. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. Or how to Look work the materials. Sigil, my lord. A barren hill. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Riff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. That's... Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Royland, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twin. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. Oh, that'll get your tongue ripped out right there. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave, Lord? Ethan! Oh, oh, no! What have you done? But I don't want the brave, Lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! 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 My Lord! Oh, no! Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan, no. However, the foresters need mm. to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Ryan! Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Ryan. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mason quickly. Yeah, you there's nothing this on yourself. Mother! Please stop! Don't let him take no! me! You will not take stop him! Him! No, please! Ryan, please! No! Let me go! No! Ryan! Do something! Ethan? Oh, my son. Knowing Ramsay Snow, that went about how I expected it to.
Oh, okay, so that's the end of this, apparently. Or the end of the first episode, I guess. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop Was until that Ethan is avenged. John? Until Ryan is home again. John Snow? Our house will not fall. And I guess that was supposed to be we Asher. Be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Mira's going to be the dagger in the dark? Oh, you are offline. Go online to see your stats. How am I offline? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, is this something where I have to have one of their accounts? Because I don't think the account system works anymore. So I'm definitely not offline. Like, my network's up and running perfectly fine. That's weird. Also, this isn't me muting it. There's just no music over top of the credits. That's a bit unexpected. Hmm. It's too bad, really. I, I would have actually liked to see the, uh, the stats and how they would compare. You know, how my decisions compared to other people's. But I feel like this is one of those things where they didn't have the rights for very long or something. I don't know. It just feels a little weird. Oh, Natalie Dormer. Yeah, I was right. So they did bring all of them back. Interesting. So if that was Jon Snow, then I wonder if we're going to get Kit Harrington back to do the voiceover for that character. Hmm. Yeah. Like I said, I, I kind of figured Ethan wasn't going to make it. Just because Ramsey Snow is, well, he's a sociopathic bastard, to put it politely. And I already know that we're not going to be able to give him payback in this game because he's a major character with plot armor who survives for longer than he should have in the show. But he also gets his comeuppance in the show. FYI, I'm, I'm sorry. The show's been out for long enough by this point in time. I assume you've watched it. If you're watching this, I definitely assume that you've already seen the show and or read the books or both. So, yeah. It... Yeah, I, I feel like we should probably have already known about this one. Maximize your Game of Thrones experience. Telltale account or log in now. If you're up to date about our games, enjoy more game features and see more cool stats from Game of Thrones game. Yeah, okay, so that's what I figured. Since I said no thank you to that, I assume that means that I'm not able to see the stats. That's kind of annoying. Like, I really don't feel like I need to have an account to do that. I'm going to hit the no thank you button. Um, yeah, and this just jumps us back out to the main menu. Okay, cool. Well, that's very irritating that it requires an online account to be able to do anything. But... Interesting first episode. I'm curious to see where this game is going to take us. And who all we're going to meet. So far, we've, we've met a few major players. So I'm, I'm curious what other major actors we're going to run into. Definitely not any of the Starks. Well, actually, I don't know. I can't say definitely, because Mira's in King's Landing. Sansa would still be in King's Landing right now. So we might run into her. And Garrod's on his way up to the wall. I don't think he'd be in a position to run into 
Aria. No. Aria would be going in a different direction by now. Yeah, she's with a hound now, so never mind. Yeah. We might run into a Stark. For that matter, I wonder if we'll run into Daenerys if Asher is in Essos. I don't know. I guess we'll find that stuff out when we get into the next episode of it. But if you want to make sure that you know about it when I upload the next episode, well, there's only one way to do that. That's to go down there, hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell. That way you know when I'm uploading new videos. And while you're down there, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. That way YouTube's overlords stay nice and happy and the video hopefully gets pushed out to more people. So, until next time, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember that life does get rough sometimes. So, good luck, have fun, stay awesome. And I will catch you in the next one.